Overclockers, my name's Bryony and welcome to the first News Weekly episode of 2022. I hope that you all had a brilliant Christmas and are excited for all the wonderful new hardware and game launches happening this year. This week's news is jam-packed with big tech announcements from CES, plus a couple of incredible free games, so let's jump into it. Before we dive headfirst into the many hardware launches this week, I'll kick off the episode with a plethora of free games. I really thought that Epic Games would have stopped giving away freebies by now, but it seems like they're still feeling generous as we head into another year. This week's free title is called Gods Will Fall, and it's described as a roguelike game where you battle your way to defeat the horrific beasts and minions of each god's realm. In each playthrough, the game randomly generates your clan of eight Celtic warriors, all with unique combat skills and weapon classes to help you defeat the different dungeons. I must admit, it does have some pretty mixed reviews over on Steam. Many people are cursing its similarity to Dark Souls, while others are praising the challenging mechanics and eye-catching visuals. Even if you end up not really liking the gameplay, it is actually free to try, so it's well worth adding it to your library before this deal expires on the 13th of January. The next free game this week you really don't want to miss, and it's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's got to be up there as one of the best ever Star Wars games, and if you're yet to try it, don't forget to claim your copy with Prime Gaming this month. It's a fun and challenging action-adventure game that introduces a new character and storyline that's set shortly after the events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. You can claim the full PC game on Origin by clicking the link below and signing into your Prime account before the deal expires at the end of the month. Other games available to download for free in January include Total War Warhammer, World War Z Aftermath, WRC7 FIA World Rally Championship and Two Point Hospital. I always, always forget to claim my monthly free Prime games, but 2022 is certainly off to a good start, so don't miss out these free games for January. Now, for the second half of the news, it's all about product launches, as we're currently right at the end of CES 2022, with huge announcements from some of the world's biggest tech companies. There's actually been so, so many that it's hard to fit them all into this one video, so I've cherry-picked some of the most important announcements for PC gamers and hardware enthusiasts that we can expect to see over the coming year. Kicking things off with NVIDIA, who had three major graphics card announcements. The biggest was the new high-end 3090 Ti, which promises to be an absolute monster when it comes to performance, power consumption, and ultimately price, although we'll have to wait a bit longer for the full details. At the moment, we know it uses the GA102 GPU with 10,752 CUDA cores, the same 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, and a slightly higher clock speed with 40 shader teraflops. At the opposite end of the spectrum, Nvidia announced the more budget-friendly RTX 3050 for the desktop platform, which uses the latest Ampere architecture and comes with 8GB of GDDR6 memory, DLSS and ray tracing support. It should offer a big jump in performance over the aging 1650 thanks to those technologies, and the pricing is expected to start at around $249 with availability on the 27th of January. Finally, NVIDIA announced the RTX 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti graphics will be hitting the mobile platform, with a range of the fastest laptops ever available from the 1st of February. NVIDIA claimed that they'll even be better than a lot of desktop PCs, with the 3080 Ti offering 16GB of GDR6 memory and faster graphical performance than the original Titan RTX, with those laptops starting at around $2,499. The slightly more cut-down 3070 Ti is 70% faster than the RTX 2070 Super, and it's going to be ideal for 1440p high refresh rate gaming, with laptops starting at just $1,499. NVIDIA GeForce also made announcements that covered new RTX games, G-Sync displays, NVIDIA Studio, and cloud gaming. 
2022 is certainly shaping up to be an exciting year for new graphics hardware. Our next round of hardware announcements is from AMD, who filled their keynote with heaps of brand new tech for both the mobile and desktop platform. The main focus was on AMD's new 6000 series mobile processors, which will power all the new gaming laptops coming in 2022. The new CPUs use RDNA2 silicon alongside the improved Zen 3 Plus core architecture, with several improvements for better efficiency, two times the onboard graphics performance, plus support for USB 4, Wi Fi 6E, and DDR5 memory. Also for the mobile platform, AMD has refreshed the Performance Focus 6000M series graphics with higher clock speeds and faster performance across the entire range. They even released a new 6000S range of mobile graphics for super thin, light and portable gaming laptops with better battery life that still packs a performance punch with over 100 FPS in games like Far Cry 6 even at max settings. For the desktop platform, AMD released the long-awaited Radeon RX 6500 XT, which will be a great choice for PC gamers on a budget, and it's going to offer great 1080p gaming performance that's up to 59% better than the GTX 1650 or RX 5070. You can expect to see stock hit the shelves on the 19th of January. When it comes to the desktop processors, AMD showed off a single Zen 3 CPU and it's the new Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, which is sort of the last hurrah for the AM4 platform. It uses 3D vCache technology to increase gaming performance by around 15%, which is a really, really impressive jump. It's due to launch sometime in spring, which is a few months before the next generation Ryzen 7000 processors, which were teased right at the end of the keynote. We didn't get a huge amount of detailed information, but we know that they'll use 5 nanometer Zen 4 technology, and a sample AMD demonstrated on stage was running at 5 gigahertz on all cores. The processors will also use a new AM5 socket with an LGA layout which waves goodbye to those easy to bend pins. And it introduces support for DDR5, PCIe Gen 5 and even AM4 coolers. Finally, AMD announced Radeon Super Resolution which works a little bit like Fidelity FX Super Resolution except it's going to work on all of your games as it's actually integrated into the next version of Adrenaline Software Suite. It's likely that the upscaling won't be quite as good as FSR, but it's still going to be a nice feature nonetheless. And overall, I think it's safe to say there's plenty of exciting hardware on the way from AMD in 2022. Our next roundup of hardware announcements during CES comes from Intel, who unsurprisingly spent a lot of time talking about new releases surrounding Alder Lake. For the desktop platform, the company unveiled the full lineup of 12th gen processors that are going to sit alongside the existing unlocked K series chips. The more affordable options are ideal if you're not really bothered about overclocking or using the integrated graphics. And there is a range of options from the 16 core i9 12900 all the way down to the 2 core Celeron G6 900. This budget-friendly lineup will slot perfectly into the brand new H670, B660 and H610 motherboards, which don't support overclocking, but they should be much more affordable. Both the new processors and new chipset motherboards are available soon, and I'm going to drop a link in the description below so you can check them out on the Overclockers website. Arriving alongside the new chips and chipsets are also redesigned laminar stock coolers. These are desperately needed and they definitely look a lot better than their predecessor, meaning you can save a little bit of cash when building a 12th gen powered PC. Also for desktop, Intel unveiled the Core i9-12900KS. This is the same high-end Core i9-12900K, but it's actually been binned by Intel for faster speeds and it's going to be capable of pushing a single core to 5.5 GHz. It's currently only been announced for the OEM use, and I'm sure we're gonna see it at the heart of some powerful water-cooled gaming rigs at Overclockers UK. For the mobile platform, Intel announced its 12th gen H-series CPUs with i9, i7, and i5 variants with eight cores, all the way up to 14 cores with a combination of performance and efficiency cores. 
According to Intel, the performance is actually pretty impressive, with up to 28% faster game performance compared to AMD's top-end 5000 series mobile chip. There's bound to be plenty of awesome gaming laptops arriving soon with these new processors, and the release date has been announced as early 2022, so we won't have to wait too long. Finally, if you were hoping to hear more about Intel Arc during CES, you might be a tad disappointed, as Intel didn't really reveal any more details about the upcoming performance of its new graphics cards. However, the company did announce it's begun shipping Arc graphics to its OEM customers, which will be used in more than 50 new mobile and desktop products from brands like Acer, Asus, Gigabyte, Samsung, and MSI, all really big names. That means the launch should definitely be happening later this year, and the graphics card market should hopefully be a lot more competitive provided there's decent supply in 2022. Our final hardware story this week is a continuation of a hardware announcement that we covered just before Christmas. I'm happy to announce that if you want to fight Thanos in comfort, then the officially licensed Iron Man Edition Noble Chair has flown into stock. The classic Hero Noble Chair shape has been reupholstered with bright red and gold upholstery that matches the iconic Iron Man suit. The adjustable backrest appears to be powered by an arc reactor, but most importantly, it also contains integrated and customizable lumbar support. Noble chairs are known for their high quality construction and great ergonomics, which are going to ensure that this chair will keep even a billionaire genius happy. If you want to get your hands on one, they're available with next day delivery right now on Overclockers UK for $424.99, and we'll drop a link in the description below. Thanks for watching our first episode of News Weekly for 2022. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite hardware announcement from CES this year. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon so you don't miss our upcoming content, and I'll see you again in the next one.